Bucko's bounty. Yo, Bucko. Id Zero coming back to you with another figure of you. And I've been holding off on this guy for a while, but it's time we finally crack him open. It's the Star Wars Black Series Kamino Clone Trooper from the Clone Wars line. Yeah, and he's the very first figure of the Clone Wars line. Hell, I'm, I'm surprised they didn't just make him an exclusive. You know, God forbid. But, yeah, anyways. Um, I was actually really excited to get this guy, and uh, I pre-ordered the entire wave, but it was never coming in from where I pre-ordered it from, so I decided to look for the stores, and this was the only one that I never found in a store, besides Mando. Of course, I was never going to find Mando in the store, but it's the only one I didn't find in the store, so I ended up just uh, canceling the pre-order, because I knew he was never going to come in. And then I pre ordered somewhere else, canceled that pre-order, and then, yeah, here we are. Finally got my hands on him. So, this guy's pretty dope. Now, I remember a lot of people complaining about him, and there were, were a few QC issues. Um, I did, I, okay, I did find one at a toy store before, and they, he definitely had a QC, like, really bad QC issue with his helmet. Um, this one doesn't seem to be too bad. It, he has, like, a little bit of gray on his helmet, but it's really not bad. But... Anyways, I remember people complaining about him because it's like, out of all the Clone Wars ones, why him? I think before Season 7 came out, the the logo for the Clone Wars actually had him as the logo, so that was interesting. So, yeah, he's just iconic just because he used the banner for like two years. But, so I, I think, personally, I think he's pretty cool and I might pick another, another one of these up. And he's going to look great next to Wolf, which I don't have, and he's also in pre-order. Who knows when that's coming in, but anyways, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open All right, and here he is out of the packaging and he is looking very clean I really like this gray color scheme. He's got going on. It looks super clean just all around the white and the gray Oh my gosh now I, I like colorful troopers and all but this I don't know this just looks really nice like I don't like plain white troopers, but this I don't know this is kind of like it's just a nice design on him. That's really dope. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get into his accessories real quick. And he comes with, of course, the same two accessories that every clone ever comes with. Stars, he comes with this DC-15S. Um, very nice. It's pretty typical of these guys to come with this. And I actually think I need to readjust my setup in a second. But we're going to get through this real quick. But yeah, um, this is a bit warped. It has been chilling in the package for a while. And I'm not really surprised about this. Uh, both, most of these ones I get are pretty warped. But uh, I have a ton of these sitting around because these are nice molds. But I don't know why. I just prefer the other blaster he comes with. But yeah, this is pretty nice uh, simple mold. They actually did change it. Both of these blasters it comes with this up um, from the older molds. Which you actually see in this video so if you haven't seen that clone the 330 second go check that out I talk more about that but yeah they did change it up from the original mold it's very slight so you, most people probably wouldn't be able to tell but and the cool thing with the newly articulated clones is it's a lot easier to get them into some more action poses so that's gonna be cool alright and then his other accessory comes with is the DC 15A and this one's the, my personal favorite um, <sighs> I keep telling myself I'm going to let some of these clones use the smaller blaster, but all of my clones somehow end up holding this. I just love this blaster for some reason. I don't know why. I I really don't know why. I think I like the MG42 uh, machine gun from World War II, um, and this has kind of like, you notice it is mostly MG42 up until about here. And I think that's why, it's because that's like, I don't know, I really like World War II weapons, and that reminds me of it. Most Star Wars weapons are from older generation of weapons, but yeah, that's, that's pretty cool right there. But yeah, very nice mold, also redone, and it's in a nicer, like, black, glossy plastic than normal. Usually they're like a matte color, so very nice. We're just gonna go ahead and get into this figure real quick now. So, very um, 
like I was talking, it might be a little harder to see, but yeah, a lot of these do have a QC issues that I've seen, or maybe it's just the ones I've seen personally, but he has this kind of like, here, let me get that. It's going to be a really difficult one because, yeah. So, um, on his helmet, he has like, on some of the gray, it's kind of messed up like there. Uh, the gray is messed up. It's not supposed to be like that. I think there's a tiny bit of gray here, which can I, yeah, not really, but yeah, it's just a tiny bit messed up. Uh, it's not too bad. I honestly, I could just chalk it up to just being like its own, just how he painted the armor. But I think all of the Camino clones look the same. So whatever, very nice helmet either way, lots of very interesting details and then you'll notice the diff uh, you'll notice if you look at the older clones they all have the black rim but he has the white rim same thing with him I guess that's just like the animation style they choose so that's like that's how you can tell if they're from the Clone Wars or if they're from the movies is if they have the black rim I'm pretty sure and I knocked over the drone the drone yeah, very nice detail I actually really it looks very clean but uh, the way that is and then you have your little Camino emblem really cool all the stripes I like just the matte gray or it's kind of like the flat gray they used it looks very nice on him I don't know I was like oh maybe we'll get one of these figures in the black series but I was doubtful they were really they were hardcore like not wanting to do anything from Clone Wars in the black series for a while yeah this guy's looking super nice got your stripes on the arm you got your gray belts and stripes on the arm here very clean emblem by the way I it's super super clean for what it is I feel like if they didn't do this if they would have done this before all the face tech it would have been looking trashy and then stripes again and then flat gray and then yeah besides that he's your pretty typical clone so there's not too much to talk about here but he does have very nice designs all around with this helmet. Very simple though. But I noticed um, it is kind of weird now. I'm noticing it. So top of him kind of goes from a like f he has a weird mixture of like flat gray, like a matte gray, to a glossy gray. And the f kind of flat gray is used kind of throughout. I don't know. At first I was gonna call it out, but now it makes more sense. It's like not everything is the same gray. So that's I actually kind of like that the weird mixture of matte and the glossy so that's kind of cool we're gonna go ahead and get into the articulation and it's the same thing with the newer clones and of course he was the first one so I don't know why I was really hoping to get a review out like in October of him but never got the chance to all right anyways so we got a the neck uh, thing I don't like about these figures that much is they have their heads kind of like uh, the way they're put on you don't get like any down but yeah the neck moves around uh, and it goes up into a ball joint. I don't believe there's a swivel there, but yeah, it's kind of limiting on the amount of articulation you're going to get here, which that was one thing I think the older clones had a little better. And then you do have uh, butterfly joints here, but mine are super stiff. I actually got them loose. <laughs> I, I'm re-recording. Re this is the first time I actually got them a little loose and I didn't realize it. And I'm rubbing white paint off from somewhere interesting but yeah butterfly joints then you got a hinge swivel at the shoulder and these are super rubbery compared to the other clones I have so they're gonna get out of the way super easily uh, they will crunch up under here so I'll just be aware of that because that could do some damage to your figure you have single jointed elbows the elbows I don't care that you broke your elbow then you have a hinge and swivel at the wrist and then this one goes up and down very nice up and down movement that's like superior aiming right there like that's crazy like wow 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 gunslinger hands then you have your left and right here then you have your ball joint at the torso which very nice movement there it's very smooth on this one some of the other ones are like clicky uh, kind of stiff but whatever then you have your legs go up this far they kind of go up and out of the way then back this far again same thing then out this far you have your thigh swivels 
You have your single jointed knee, again missing the double jointed knee, but I understand why they did it. Then you have your hinge at the ankle and a forward facing pin for a rocker. And your home's under attack, soldier. It's time to get back to the battlefield. him off next to some other figures so here he is next to commander cody and obi-wan and here he's next to a clinker and dooku and here he's next to the new stormtrooper and lord vader and here he is next to luke skywalker squawker and old left limbs he is pretty dope and i would say that um he's definitely gonna look good next to wolf and he probably will look even better if you have multiple of him but Definitely not a necessary clone. He is pretty sick, very nicely painted. Um, if you want him, don't skip out on him. I, you can still order him from like Big Bad, Big Bad Toy Store and stuff. And I picked him up at my local collectible shop. So, as always, you can bring him in warm or you can bring him in cold. Thanks for watching and good hunting.